Hey, how you doing? Steven here, and I wanted to make this video to give you an overview of uh, Gearbubble. This is one of the first sites that I started off with um, last year uh, to sell designs on mugs, uh, t-shirts, necklaces, bracelets, and so on, and I'll show you what uh, products they have. A lot has changed since then. They have added a lot of things, so I just wanted to give you a quick overview on how, the, how what you what to expect when you sign up. So basically, uh, when you sign up, you're going to come to this, and uh, what you, what's going to happen is you're going to have to put in your info. So let's go to settings when you sign up. I'm going to go here, and uh, you're going to want to uh, put your uh, all your info here, your name, your email, your address, all that fun stuff, and hit uh, save changes. This is all pretty easy. Um, then uh, you want to come over here to no notifications and then you can put an email in here so when you get sales you'll get a notification which is fun because when you get a sale you, you get all jittery and happy yeah I got a sale all that hard work you put in and you want to make sure that you uh, make sure these boxes are ticked you know checked off so you can uh, so that you can get notified um, over here at payout settings you click that now here you can put your bank uh, bank information in, which I recommend um, if you're going to get serious about this stuff and you start making some big money. I recommend that you get a uh, LLC, a uh, corporation type business, and do that. Um, you can also, if you have a PayPal account, you can put your uh, PayPal stuff in here and uh, your email, and uh, you can get paid through PayPal. Um, over here, tracking pixels. Now this is a, a Facebook uh, pixel, which I'll show you later how to put in, but it's got a bunch of numbers, and as you can see, and you're going to put it in here so when, you, uh, when you're making sales, you'll see, you know, when you're looking at your ads, you'll be able to see, you know, view content, add to cart, and then pixels. And this stuff I'll teach you how, how all that works. But you'll be able to uh, track your progress on your ads. And uh, but there's another way, a better way to track your your uh, conversions, and I'll show you that also how that works. Because um, sometimes Facebook, when you're running traffic, you know Facebook doesn't track them all, it doesn't track all your conversions, so you don't you can't see which ad is performing uh, accurately. So um, yeah, so basically when you uh, get your Facebook, if you don't have a Facebook uh, account uh, ad account, you're gonna have to uh, create a Facebook pixel in which will give you a bunch of numbers um, and then you just copy and paste it in here and what we do is we can click this box and upgrade to the new pixel that's all we do and then we hit change uh, save changes and it's simple as that um, over here to leads basically here you're gonna uh, want to collect leads so when you're when you're uh, making sales you want to capture that lead so you can mark it back to them later and also good thing about it is when you collect emails you're gonna you'll be able to export those emails Gearbubble allows you to do that and you can export them and import those leads into all those emails into your Facebook so you can click create what you call uh, a custom audience into a lookalike audience you'll be able to create lookalike audiences off of those leads and that's something advanced later that I will explain but they come in very I mean they work very well when uh, you have a list like that so it's very important to collect uh, emails so you can market back to them and also you can use them for your um, custom uh, custom and lookalike audiences later in Facebook here is where you can create stores if you have a lot of products and stuff you can create stores and um, um, and put all your products so like if uh, let's go to a store here and so here, here's um, a few products that we have here. And the, all the products that you make, say like you're in a grandma niche, which is a good niche to get into, um, very passionate niche. And you can create a bunch of designs, mugs, t-shirts, all that stuff. And, um, and you can create a store. So you can have hundreds and hundreds of products here. You can have mugs, hoodies, and t-shirts. Sell them all day. And you can name it. it. Doesn't have to be Granny on the Go, but you can name it whatever store that you want. So, uh, Gearbubble allows you to have stores. Let's go back. And in your stores, 
uh, let's see, in your stores, you can hit advanced settings. And here you can um, put in your uh, retargeting pixel, custom uh, retargeting pixel from Facebook. Here you can add and remove products from your store. Like say, you know, if you wanted to remove a product from your store, you can do that. You can just remove the product right here. I wouldn't do that because, you know, you never know uh, when you're running traffic. Uh, and there's ways I'm going to show you how in your ad to get traffic to your store and using, uh, you know, little video ads to get, to, you know, using video ads on Facebook to get traffic to your store. But basically, uh, but you can, you know, just re remove products if you want. But you don't want to do that because you never know, man. Somebody might like something that you don't really haven't sold but someday I mean out of the blue it's gonna sell so I would leave everything in there featured items um, you can add items in here like um, like if I wanted to add an item here you can go to unselected campaigns so it says there's nothing here for featured items so you click unselected campaigns you come here and you select and then if you want it to be on position one like position one or position two uh, you could do that. So I can just hit one, and then I can have this. If I want this on position two, I can do that, and then this would be position three. I can do that. Come down here and update store. Now, if we go to featured items, there they are. Now they're here. So you can have tons and tons of products here. And you can just just keep adding, and adding. And so when somebody's on their mobile phone or on their website on desktop or something they be able to go through the tabs you know one two three four and just go shopping go shopping analytics this is where you put your tracking analytics um, this is a little advanced this is what I would have to teach you uh, to track this is what you would put on um, your campaigns which would be TID equals like zero one or not that. That's uh, not that. It'll be just zero one, zero one, and uh, disregard this. I just jumped ahead there. But this here actually is what you would put in Facebook in your in your ads. And this is advanced stuff, but I'll show you that later. But you would say when you see this in your when you put this in your ads, it would be TID equals one. That would be in your in your in your ads, but it would be coming up as zero one, so add one, and uh, you would see your hops, meaning your visitors, and then your sales here. So you can accurately accurately track your your sales and see which ads. So if you have like ten or twenty ads running at the same time, you're going to want zero two, zero three, and zero four, and so on. So when you're running ads, this actually is what you're going to put in your ads, in your Facebook, and it's going to track zero one, right? So you're going to see visitors here, which they call hops, and then sales. You're going to see your sales. So you'll be able to stop ads that are not converting and keep ads that are converting. And then where you want to duplicate or add more, add more money to it so you can get more visitors, make more sales. So this I'll explain later um, in better detail on how this works. Other settings. This is just general settings. Uh, you can uh, have notified, enabled, show your sales, show your expired dates, stuff like that. I don't really mess with this stuff. So, you know, you can do whatever you want here. You can add categories. Um, I have done this. You can add new releases. Like if you have new releases of new products in your store, you can click that and that tab will show up. So if you update that, we'll go back to the store and I'll show you. Uh, you can add hats and beanies. So if you're going to sell beanies and hats, you can add that or phone covers, uh, phone cases, but they call them phone covers. You can add that. So if we go back to the store, since I, I added uh, new releases, hats, beanies, and phone covers, if we go back to the store, there they are, phone cutters, hats, and beanies. So now when people are visiting your site, you're sending traffic to your, your store, people can click on beanies and go, oh, look at the beanies, or the hats, or the mugs, or the phone covers. They can buy them from you. So that's how that works. So let's just go back to Gearbubble here. 
now we're going to go into launching campaigns. Well, let's see here. Um, invites. Here, invites, if you want to uh, invite other people, um, just click this link, just copy this link. And then uh, when you give it to other people, and, you, and later down the line, if you want to train people or something, or you get really good, um, give the link to them. And uh, when they make sales, you make, I think, about 50 cents a sale. You know, so you make some money from from their efforts. Now let's go back here. Uh, discounts. Here you can create discounts, and this is very recommend. I highly recommend you doing this. Um, you can create discounts, like when you create an ad on Facebook, you can say, you know, click here to get 10% off, uh, or um, get 10% off here, or or 10% um, off only today or something like that you, you know you, there's so many ways you can do it and or, or when they and when they click the link it would redirect me it'll say 10% off in the whole store or you can give 10% off on the if you're selling a mug or something or a necklace uh, or a shirt you can give 10% 5% whatever you want you can give 10% I would recommend doing this when you when you create a huge email list or cuz I'll show you where you can message, message people and uh, you uh, and you can send as people are buying you're going to build up a list and you build the message uh, people and give them a discount. So say if you if you're selling a product like a mug and it's going crazy and you're selling and you're doing good and you create another mug and you can test it and say, hey, you know what? Before I put this out on the market, you could just say, hey, here's a new mug today. Um, here's 10% off or a new shirt. Uh, here's 10% off. Um, and then send it out on your message. And this is where you would create the discount. So you would create it, hit create discount or let's say 10 off 10, 10 today. Let's try that 10 today, just for example. There we go. Ten today. You get the point. Um, so basically, you just want to rename, put something unique in there, and just give them ten off. It doesn't really matter. And then, um, then what you do is you go back to stores, and then uh, you'll be able to see ten today right here, like that. Then you pick a tracking. You can name it whatever you want. We'll do zero one. And then here, here's the URL. So you're going to click that. And it's going to copy, right? And then what you do is you put it in the browser, and you put it in your link, and then it says 10 off. So let me put it up here, and it should redirect. So there you go. Congratulations. Everything in the store is discounted. The amount will show at checkout. So go here. Uh, let's put in uh, Rhonda. And let's put uh, Paul. And let's add the cart. So there you go. Gearbub allows you to do custom uh, um, personalized. Also, I'll teach you how to do all that. Do all that too. So you add the cart, and then continue. Go to checkout. Oops. Let's put the size. Checkout. And there you go. There's the discount right there. And there's the discount. And then they put their information in. They can pay with card or, or PayPal. Easy as that. So that's how you do all that. Uh, basically, you can go to the marketplace. If you want to promote other people's products, you can. And you can come here and sort, sort by mug, bracelets, shirts, phone cases, all that stuff. And you can go th through and get ideas, you know, what other people are doing. And um, you never want to copy other people. You can get good ideas and just have your designer, or if you're a designer, just have them redo it. No big deal. And just sell it, you know. There's re some research I have to, well, I will teach you um, that you can find, you know, do some research on Facebook and then uh, I'll show you the tools you can use and the free methods that you could use to find winners because it's very important to find winners and then what you do is take those winners and then have your designer change it around a little bit and just go sell it to that audience whatever audience you're in so whatever niche you're in um, just go find this go look for those winners in, in Facebook 
and then you, I'll, I'll, I'll show you how you can identify what these winners are and uh, and then just recreate it you know don't copy them just recreate it and then go from there um, so there you go so you can promote you can promote these guys uh, um, you just copy their links and then you just go promote it that's all you do here it's real simple um, let's see what else we got here launch campaigns now this is this is the fun part so we can launch your campaign so we're gonna go to traditional traditional is basically this is all the products and we can come here and we can create a uh, promote a mug necklace bracelet shirt phone cases hats beanies pillowcases leggings and those are new overprints is where you can take a an image and it will be it'll cover the whole shirt the front and back so if you have something made for that you can do that and you got posters a lot of people promote mugs necklaces and shirts and also here you got bracelets stamped bracelets now so you can type in here type in here I'm a cool grandma and it should pop up here I'm a cool grandma I'm a cool nana Let's see there it comes right there I'm a cool nana and so you can sell things like this simple as that and sell it in the grandma niche or any something really passionate that you know that people are going to people going to wear my advice is to sell to older people uh, like the grandmas and sell them all you know uh, I'm, a, I'm a cool grandma or um, love is being nana or whatever you want you, you you would have to find this when you do your research see what what other people are doing and just and just we you know try to find a different phrase or whatever you know there's only so much you could do with a bracelet I know but they do sell out there um, so mugs here's a mug oops didn't get to the mug well, get to the mug here let's go back mug all right so here's the mug. I'm going to do a black mug here and I'm going to upload a design and show you how we do that. One sec. Now we'll do this one here. It's not a grandma one. It's one of my favorite designs though. Here we go. So here's the design. The snap on here can get kind of annoying. I usually just take that off and try to adjust it myself. But you can see that you can put any design you want on there. And um, what you do, uh, after, you have to have the design made a certain way. Uh, it has to be, I think, under 5 megabytes. It has to be a PNG, so you always tell your designer it needs to be a PNG when you upload these. And then basically when you're doing a mug, you're going to have to hit the duplicate duplicate image on the back because if you don't do that, it doesn't come on the back. So you want to hit duplicate image like that. Simple as that. And uh, basically they come in 11-ounce uh, mugs, another style, 15-ounce. So it comes bigger. Let's see, I'll show you. Here's the 11-ounce, and then here's the 15-ounce, just like that. So usually I do both, and and then what I do is I just leave this default, all this, because this ain't a personal mug, so I just leave this alone. And just hit next. We'll just go through this here, and then we'll just say, I can do all things through Christ. So we can just do, I can do all things uh, let's go through Christ. You can say, uh, you can say black mug because that's what it is. And then all this is filled in. We, we can customize this, but for for this video, we'll just uh, leave this alone. But it just gives you know your basic description. Then here is categories, and then we can uh, since this is in the Christian niche, we'll just use faith tags. Um, you want to put tags in there to to help your ad to be found. So we can put Jesus. Uh, Christ, 
Um, uh, that's it. We just do that. Then here, I recommend just leaving it one day. And I just leave this alone. And then we could just go. There we go. You can't use capitals. Can't use capitals. So we've got to remember that. I tend to get used to doing capitals all the time. So, And then here, you got to adjust the price range. So what I would do is, uh, let's see, sell this. Usually $14 is usually the best to do this. But let's do 16 16 you could do 19 also 16 or let's do 18 95 and do 21 here and or uh, let's do uh, let's do 1795 and try to get, trying to get a profit but the one of the things that I like to do is when you uh, create a mug like this um, a color changing or a regular white mug you always want to have an upsell so what you can do is you can sell this mug and then upsell a shirt have this design on a shirt and then they'll most likely not all the time but they'll probably buy the shirt they'll probably buy the shirt and uh, and then you'll have you know an upsell upsell or there's other things where you can sell both mugs you can sell two, uh, two mugs at the same time and make a bigger profit that way so I'll show you that in, in later videos but I'll show you the little tricks where you can double up um, your mugs and shirts and stuff like that because sometimes they probably want to buy two mugs one for their friend or for a family member or something like that so what I usually do is after I do all this I set the default back so that you can see they can see you'll see what I mean you'll be able to see both sides and then terms and conditions as long as they're not trademarked that's all that really means there and launch campaign let me get some of the drink here. Okay. All right. So this is default settings. We haven't set our pixel yet or anything. This is I'll show later. But let's just go to our campaign. And there's our campaign. And see, we set the default so they can see both sides of that beautiful mug there. That is a nice mug. I might have to try selling <laughs> selling that. So for uh, first time I put that design on a black mug, it looks pretty good. <laughs> so so now that when they when you drive traffic, uh, they'll be able to pick this uh, design here for the 15 out. See how the mug changes, and then it shrinks. Mug changes. And then it shrinks. Now I'm going to teach you how you can make little videos or slideshows, or you can use Camtasia if you have Camtasia. If you don't have a don't worry about it because I'll teach you how to make free videos, real easy, simple videos that you can run on Facebook. I mean, it's so simple, a monkey can do it. And so you run traffic to this and you make sales, and that's how you uh, put up a mug. So let's go back to Gear Bubble, the page here, and here. This is what I was talking about doing double mugs. You could double up mugs. So say uh, you had another mug like this, matching mugs. You can select this, and you can select this. And then you can hit merge. hope we can merge this. Yeah, see? And you can merge these two mugs. And then when you, uh, you can get really, you can have all these great ideas when you do mugs. You can do relationship mug his and hers or you could get really creative with this you know and you could do this with shirts too and all that so it's it's very um it's pretty cool because then now when you're you put your title in here and the same thing your category and your tags and everything and all that and your your route you can adjust the prices here now see you can see how the prices are better and you can make a lot more sales that way and then you can still do an upsell you could sell more stuff, you know, you could be really creative. You can upsell a shirt or another mug or a bracelet, whatever you want. And uh, they will buy, trust me. You send enough traffic, they're, they're going to buy, especially if it's a very passionate niche. So come over here. The club here, and I haven't really used it, but this is where you can do reoccurring. Like um, you can create a... Uh, like you can create a, uh, like a, like say you have a niche of grandmas, a lot of, a lot of bunch of grandma mugs. You could sell them and get them into a subscription 
and then they'll be sent a mug every month after that. And then I guess Gear Bubbles designers will end up designing the mugs and sending them as long as they stay on the subscription. And you can make the subscription like I don't know, whatever, five bucks a month or something, so you can have more subscription. I haven't really done this, but that's what this is all about. Let's go back here. Stacking is new. I haven't used this yet, so once I uh, figure this out, I'll let you know. And stores. And these are, you can create your own stores. So this is what I was talking about, the stores. You can create your own store, your standard store. Store with a banner, store with a slider, or store with add to cart. I would do store with, with cart so that people can create multiple. Uh, let's, let's go here. People, now you can just put your name in here, uh, whatever store you want. So you would put your store name, your store name. This would be whatever store you want to call, whatever niche you want to go into. And then you put your URL here, whatever name it is, and then your categories that you want here and custom if you want and then you hit next and then this store here you can have uh, you know people can add more more stuff to the store it has an add to cart so if they want to keep shopping they can keep adding and adding and adding I recommend this so this video has gone a long time so what I want to do is my next video I'll set up I'll, uh, I'll show you how I set up an ad and uh, get going with gear bubble and how we can make videos and stuff like that so this is going to be a little a series on how to use these platforms so i'll do a gear bubble i'll do a viral style and i'll do a, a t-chip and and basically they all they all a little bit different but basically it's all basically the same you just create your designs and uh, you get them on these products um, you, you get all the information put into uh, the the company, and so you can get paid and all that stuff. And then basically, what you need to do is just learn some traffic, and that's where I come in. I'll teach you the basics, how to get going, and uh, it's up to you to keep it going. So um, I hope this video was helpful. This is Gear Bubble, and uh, it, they uh, it's a great platform to get started. Um, like I said, they have all these mugs, and you can just have fun man if you're creative you're a designer man go for it man sell as many things as you can and my recommendation about niches um, find very passionate niches I mean passionate niches where like they always say if you talk crap about that niche or about that subject and somebody gets pissed and wants to punch the crap out of you I think that's the niche you want to be in <laughs> but that's just an example but you want to be in very passionate niches so uh, that my, my advice is to think about it. Think about what niches you really want to go into. Then you want to think about, does the niche have money, you know, and all this, would they buy this, all this stuff. And then we'll go into finding niches, and you will see how passionate people are by their comments, by how many shares they share, uh, likes, stuff like that, because there are some very passionate niches out there that you can get into and just sell like crazy, man. And that's, that's it, really. So I uh, hope this video was helpful, and uh, I'll uh, get the other video out as soon as I can. All right? I'll talk to you later. Bye.